So we get this feedback, this infinite loop. Frequency goes out, and it returns with an interpretation. It's never a one-to-one. -one, right? The frequency goes out, and then it returns to source, even if that's you, as an interpretation of what you're sending out. I'm sending out love, and it comes back as, you know, my garden just exploded with blooms. How lovely. Or you send out love, and it comes back as, you know, the best friend giving you a call right when you need it, you know. It's this infinite loop, and it's always in play, always in play. So the frequency, when you become more uh, aware of qualifying the frequency of your thought, knowing, comprehending that it's going to come back, right? So when we talk about there's no more karma, everything's instant now, it's now, 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 now. There's no paying it off in the next lifetime. That's gone, right? So now, when we become aware of the frequency of our thoughts and our words and our emotions and our actions, subconscious too, you become aware of that frequency because it affects your DNA, DNA of, of obeying the subconscious until you tell it what to do. You start clearing out the lower level influence. So you stimulate the electromagnetic field, and it returns with information. I send this out, you get that back, right? Until you uh, achieve the Christed frequency, this pure harmonic that does, it does something else. It, it creates coherence so that you get coherence back. It becomes less personal as well. I mean, you'll notice in your life things rearranging and adjusting, but when you're consistently broadcasting that Christed frequency, realities resolve, right? They auto-correct. They start self-correcting around you.